when the Ghostbusters franchise rips off Frozen, who you gonna call? Elsa, shh. Wake me up when it's over. That was how I was feeling the entire time when I just slept through Ghostbusters' forgettable empire. Sony, you cannot be serious. This is how you celebrate the 40th anniversary of the original 1984 Ghostbusters. They deserved better. Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and <laughs> welcome to my second Ghostbusters rant. My first Ghostbusters rant since uh, my rant on the 2016 reboot eight years ago. I can't believe uh, we are ranting about this franchise again, just when we thought uh, uh, the 2016 reboot was the last uh, uh, bad one. Uh, but no. So, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, directed by Gil Lehman and is the fifth instalment in the Ghostbusters franchise overall that has uh, been going for 40 years now. Uh, so, uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire tells the story as uh, paper thin as it is. It's literally just another Ghostbusters instalment where uh, uh, we see uh, Callie and uh, uh, and and uh, Gary, uh, who uh, was uh, Phoebe and uh, Trevor's uh, teacher in the previous movie. And after the events uh, of Afterlife, uh, the uh, family uh, move to uh, New York as uh, Gary is uh, now uh, uh, with uh, Callie, uh, Phoebe, and Trevor's mum, and uh, Phoebe. Uh, uh, befriends uh, a uh, ghost uh, Melody, no, not Melody, from Little Mermaid 2, uh, and uh, turns out to a, a demonosic uh, god, uh, Gareth, uh, who uh, wants uh, to uh, uh, freeze uh, all of Earth uh, to uh, build his frozen empire, the titular empire of the movie. And uh, as he resurfaces and freezes uh, New York into a ice uh, palace, uh, literally, the uh, Ghostbusters old and new are called into action once again. And yeah, uh, are we getting uh, sick and tired of uh, this uh, repetitive formula at this point? Now, uh, I uh, stated in my Afterlife review that I did not love it. Uh, and I did not think it was uh, as uh, great a way to revive the Ghostbusters franchise as everybody says. And uh, did not uh, think uh, when I heard uh, about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire that a follow-up to Afterlife uh, would be uh, that much of an improvement. And uh, I stand uh, corrected, uh, it uh, turned out uh, even worse than Afterlife. This has the lowest uh, Rotten Tomatoes score for the franchise at just a 44%. Yes, even lower than the 2016 reboot. Let that sing in. While the critics are going uh, a little far, uh, uh, giving it a lower rating than that movie, it is uh, at the least uh, more uh, worthy and enjoyable than the 2016 reboot, so, but... Uh, it's still uh, not so good as and uh, my second least favourite Ghostbusters film. Yeah, I know Ghostbusters uh, Frozen Empire uh, is... Uh, uh, I, uh, yeah, I totally get that the loyal uh, Ghostbusters uh, fan base are uh, d defending uh, th this movie uh, t till the end, especially my good pal Frozen Things Studio, he seems to love this movie, and, and fair play to him. But my other friend, uh, Pajak, Ollie Pajak, uh, he uh, uh, could not care less for us, and yeah, I uh, did not uh, 
give a damn about this movie. Frozen Empire uh, just uh, feels like another uh, Ghostbusters movie that uh, Hollywood and Sony uh, can't let go of uh, and uh, it just uses nostalgia baits uh, to uh, draw back Ghostbusters fans uh, once again. It does nothing for the franchise even with its attempts to expand the Ghostbusters lore by having a, 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 de a demon a ghost that can uh, um, freeze the world. They might as well have just uh, called uh, Elsa on the Ghostbusters uh, call line because uh, she would have, uh, well, whooped his ass and uh, solved the problem in, in a jiffy with her uh, ice powers. This is a, such a hollow a derivative uh, blockbuster uh, with uh, a real l lack of heart and, uh, and it's... Uh, it's uh, bored uh, the hell out of me, and and it feels uh, overstuffed uh, with with uh, an overcrowding of characters. Like uh, we still don't need the old Ghostbusters team back. Uh, just uh, cut them out and focus on the new Ghostbusters generation team. It was just a uh, Phoebe, Trevor, and uh, and uh, Lucky, uh, Trevor's uh, girlfriend. Uh, from uh, the diner and uh, Kelly and uh, Gary, then this would be twice the movie that we that we got if that were the case. And so the one thing this movie uh, did uh, improve over Afterlife uh, was uh, it uh, uh, did uh, expand the character of Lucky Trevor's love interest. It, in Afterlife, uh, she was just Trevor's uh, uh, love interest, uh, but to uh, here she becomes a Ghostbusters team member and uh, feels uh, more included in, in the narrative and uh, yeah I could see her being a worthy sister-in-law to, to Phoebe and Phoebe is still uh, the, uh, the character that grounds uh, these uh, Ghostbusters legacy sequels and, uh, uh, and initially her storyline started off uh, well with her with her befriending a, a Melody. I'm like oh they're actually having good ghost characters in this franchise. It's about time we saw that, uh, but so then they ruin it when they reveal that Melody uh, bet betrayed uh, Phoebe uh, to uh, bring back uh, uh, the villain. And that point of uh, the movie just uh, uh, l lost me. Uh, why do uh, we uh, need to have uh, this... Uh, 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 predictable cliche in uh, in uh, all 2024 blockbusters. First, we had a Zen betraying Poe to the chameleon, which we all saw that coming, and now uh, it's the exact same thing with Melody betraying a uh, Phoebe. Like, uh, just uh, make it stop. And all the family stuff uh, with uh, uh, Callie and Gary and uh, and. Phoebe and Trevor is not as uh, focused on here as it was in Afterlife, so that's why I uh, put Afterlife uh, above this film. Like uh, Trevor uh, here is uh, uh, so uh, uh, what one note even more than he was in Afterlife, and uh, and the uh, villain uh, Ga Garoff, nothing about him uh, uh, creep me out. So he looks like a uh, a lazy CGI demononic uh, villain from a, uh, a l lower budget, uh, uh, a bad horror movie or something, and uh, he, uh, his motivation is, uh, and his backstory of the most generic uh, and uh, uh, been a uh, done to death uh, that uh, you have ever seen. He was uh, imprisoned uh, uh, centuries ago. Now he's returned to make havoc. Uh, woo! But uh, he's not in the movie as much as he should be. Uh, he doesn't uh, get summoned until like the second half. Or so uh, yeah, uh, be prepared to be bored waiting for him in the first half. Even the Ghostbuster action when uh, we uh, see a New Yorker get uh, uh, extra chilly and uh, have icicles uh, wherever you turn. It's uh, it's uh, 
uh, such a, a generic uh, action. I mean, they pulled that from the cliched handbook uh, to uh, having uh, New York uh, be uh, under uh, threats uh, uh, by a supernatural uh, force and uh, Marshmallow Man uh, sings uh, Let It Go. I was like, oh, just stop. Uh, you are trying so hard to be uh, frozen, but uh, you will never be frozen, ever. I'm sorry, but jumping in a uh, uh, I ice colder river and uh, naked uh, is a more enjoyable experience than sitting through Ghostbusters a frozen empire if you want to watch uh, uh, great uh, movies uh, that are based around ice just watch Disney's frozen duology and watch uh, ice age so yeah uh, Sony uh, I, if I were to make a call, I would call you to please just make one attempt at a great all-female Ghostbusters movie and then be done with this franchise. Just like Kung Fu Panda is running out of steam, so is Ghostbusters. Uh, yeah, I I am shocked how much I dislike uh, this film and uh, uh, I... and I rather watch a Godzilla times Kong A New Empire again uh, than... Uh, that I think that is the stronger blockbuster of uh, the ones we've gotten this year with Empire in the title. I get that I watered down this rant and uh, didn't uh, get uh, as angry as I normally would, but uh, this but this is just a lazy cash grab. It's uh, not uh, anything uh, to uh, get uh, outraged about. It's I give Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. One star out of five. Fuck this movie. Whoa. Uh, uh, I uh, can't uh, wait for uh, uh, ch challenges as uh, uh, that uh, is my most anticipated movie uh, in, in April. It will uh, make up for uh, the... Uh, uh, several disappointments that we've had uh, this uh, spring. Uh, well, uh, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, rant. And what are your thoughts on Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? And did you like this or Afterlife better? Where would you place it in your Ghostbusters ranking? And I will rank the Ghostbusters movies uh, later this year after I've reviewed Ghostbusters 2, the one I have yet to get to. Please comment and let me know. Please like this here and subscribe. Please follow on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time uh, when uh, I will review and react to the trailer for Joker Folly Do Lots as that trailer is dropping tomorrow. And remember, movies are us. Bye guys. <laughs>